Hi there, Vinyl community. Welcome to another Vinyl update. This time, uh, another Goodwill Finds video. And like last time, Goodwill wasn't good for me, but actually, it's, it's sort of an up and down. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And in this case, they're good. I got seven records here and um, some interesting stuff in here. Start off with two compilations that I picked up. Both were two euros each. Um, pretty bigger price actually for a single album, but there's a triple album in there as well. So kind of evens it out. This is the first one. This is the golden age of pop on the Polydor Prisma label. It's just simple red Polydor label, but it's, it's a really great lineup. It's got Cream, T-Rex, Julie Driscoll and Brian Auger, Joe Cocker, Jimi Hendrix, Golden Earring. The side is a little you know, lesser. Uh, starts off with a horrendous version of Brazil by the Ritchie family. Then there's Bee Gees, which is pretty good. It's New York uh, mining disaster. Taste, Eric Clapton, Barry Ryan and Procol Harum. So it's a rather you know, straightforward comp and uh, it's in really, really good shape. That's the reason why I picked it up. There were other comps there that were trashed and beaten and scratched and also for two euros and I didn't pick those up, obviously. But this is in great shape, so glad I picked that up. The other one that I picked up is Welcome of the Rock People, 40 Great Artists. It's a Dutch comp, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 1972, it's six sides of music. It's a triple gatefold with lots of information on the artists performing the songs in here. Uh, lots of unknown bands in this one. Uh, the other comp that I just showed, they had you know bigger names, but this is a mix of, of big names and unknown names for me personally. Uh, I'm gonna name them all. First side, you got Johnny Winter, uh, Sweat Hawk, Neiman, uh, Blue Oyster Cult, Titanic, Jeff Beck, and Aria Speedwagon. So that's the more classic rock side. Then you got the more singer-songwriter side with Bob Dylan, uh, Barry Mann, Fishbow, Fishbow and Zorn, Colin Blundstone, Argent, and Cain and Abel. Uh, that's side two. Side three is more the horn rock section. Uh, Blood, Sweat and Tears, uh, Dreams, Chase, Emergency, Boss Gags, David Clayton Thomas and Edgar Winters White Trash. Side four is the country folk side with Poco, New Riders of the Purple Sage, The Birds, Kenny Loggins with Jim Messina, Chris Christopherson and Taj Mahal. Side five is the more experimental side. It's got the Mahavishnu Orchestra, Fields, Santana, Spirit, It's a Beautiful Day, Compost, and Home. And the last side is sort of a mix of a lot of different things that didn't fit on the other sides. And you got Mylon, Redbone, Grin, Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show, Genya Ravan, The Chamber Brothers, and Grutna. So it's a good comp with lots of unknown names. And I love that about these comps. So had to pick this up for two bucks. Three LPs in great shape. Sleeve is a little bit... You know, dirty, but the vinyl is in good condition. The other ones uh, were 25 cents each at another Goodwill, and there's some odd records in there, you know, some records I've never ever heard of or never ever seen. Not that they're rare or really expensive, but I picked them up for 25 cents each. Uh, starting off with the average white band, Cut the Cake, uh, funk band from the UK. This is uh, the sleeve again is horrendous. Look, it's water damaged, it's torn, there's tape all over the record. Stickers here, here, but the vinyl is in really, really good shape. It's in VG plus condition, so glad I picked this up. This is a good, good album. Um, I only knew them from Pick Up the Pieces, and there was Maybe a reason not to pick their music up because I don't really like that song. Maybe I do now, I don't know, but this is worth picking up. It's a really good funk record. Uh, I picked up a album I already had, but this is in better condition. So, Electric Light Orchestra's El Dorado. 
I had a, uh, I think a German copy on Warner Brothers, but this is the original UK press on uh, Jet Records. It's got the original inner sleeve with lyrics. Now you got the Jet Records label. Uh, not the best record they ever made, but I have most of their uh, records anyway, and this is a good record for 25 cents in better condition. I'll pick it up. Um, this was an, an odd record. I had it in my hands. The sleeve was totally split and destroyed, but the record was in good condition. So I picked it up, fixed the sleeve, glued, glued it, and uh, I listened to it, and it's good, actually. It's something I've never, ever heard of. Oliver Sane with Bus Stop on the British Contempo label, um, distributed by Pi Records. This, I don't know what this was supposed to be, maybe a, a jazz record or a soul record, I don't know. Turns out that this is instrumental funk and uh, pretty good funk at that. It's from 1974. Here we got the Contempo label. This one goes for around 10 bucks, I guess, on Discogs, but yeah, I picked it up for 25 cents. Really good record. Uh, the guy who owned it before me, he marked the songs that are, I guess, funky, or at least that ones he liked. Uh, if you ever see this record, Oliver Sane, uh, bust up, pick it up, because it's a good record. Uh, this is the second album by uh, this jazz group, and it's a live album, and I have several of their albums. I'm still missing um, one album called Virgin Sacrifice, which I still do want on vinyl, but you know, it's not something I'm hunting for. I just happen to see the records. Um, this is the Chris Hinze combination with Life at Montreux. Uh, that's Chris Hinze. Chris Hinze is a flautist, a jazz flautist, and uh, his solo work is, is not my cup of tea. It's cheesy and it's, it's horrendous, but with the uh, Chris Hinze combination, you get uh, a lot more diversity. Uh, free jazz, funk jazz, spiritual jazz, it's all in there. Uh, it's on CBS from 1971. The orange CBS label. This is pretty cool. It's got a little write-up on the back about the reason this album got released and why they performed it at Montreux. Um, so, yeah. Chris Hinze, Chris Hinze combination is a really good jazz group. I like it. Um, solo, not so much. But this is a good, good record. Pretty mellow, actually. The last record I'm going to show you guys is a record that I kind of had my doubts. What is it? Um, uh, I'm going to show it to you. This is Carmen with Fandangos in Space. Um, it looked intriguing um, until I saw those guys and I was like, okay. And I opened it up and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm need I want to pick this up. It's called Carmen, it's got Spanish clothing, and it looked like a Flamengo record. Um, it's not. When you look closer on the instrumentation with her name, you see Mellotron Synthesizer. So it, I, I thought it would be a little bit different, and it is. It's an odd mixture of Prague and... Um, pop and flamenco music uh, sounds a lot like a combination of uh, Jetro Tull, Zappa doing poppy flamenco stuff. It's, it's really odd and, and interesting. So if you uh, see this record, give it a shot. It, it's pretty good music. It's got some great riffs on it, great sound, and uh, pretty cool. It's the UK press on ABC Dunhill, 
Um, originally came out in 73, produced by Tony Fisconti, who also did Bowie. Um, but this is the 1974 release on uh, the American ABC Dunhill label. That's my update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments. You know, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Uh, and take care. Like I said, you know, this is a good time for goodwill. So it's a mixed thing. You know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. We'll see what next time will bring. Take care. Bye bye.